video has been released. I'm talking about the one showing Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry under arrest for drunk driving in October. The release comes after pressure from local news outlets, city council members, and a non-binding opinion from Indiana's public access counselor. At a press conference today, the mayor said he respects that opinion. We have combed through hours of the video. Tonight, Fox 55's Kelsey Mannix breaks it down for us. She is live in our studio with our top story. Kelsey. Well, Tara, the mayor's office sent us all the body camera, dash cam, and in-car video from Mayor Henry's October 8th arrest. When we read the initial crash report more than two months ago, it said he was both argumentative and cooperative. And that's what you'll see in the video. At times, he's combative, ordering officers to take his wife home so she can get her medicine, and demanding officers call Fort Wayne Police Chief Steve Reed. Other times, he goes along with the process and says he understands the officers are just doing their jobs. Take a look. Big deep breath and blow. The moment of truth after Mayor Tom Something. Henry hit a car going through a traffic circle. Henry blew a .15, nearly twice the legal limit. Uh, and what is this? .156. Ooh. That's about twice. About twice. Are we done with oh. this? That's when he knew he was in trouble. Do what you have to do. Even though his wife warned him. She said, you've been drinking too much. I said, oh, for God's sake. Henry at times went along with the procedure, saying he understood the officers were just doing their jobs. Other times, barking orders at them. Take her right now. Okay. I'm going to shit one to take. Okay. It's an order. All right. Yep. Like when he couldn't find his car insurance. Hell, I don't know which one it is. And the moment officers put cuffs on him. Let go of your hands. You're going to actually take me in. We're working through. Uh, we're, we're waiting to see. Right now you're just being detained. Handcuffs. Put the mayor in the back seat of the handcuffs. Sir, I'm going to have you step out. I won't forget this. Well, sir, believe me, I just want you to know that we are recording everything, okay? That's fine. Okay. I just cannot believe that you put me in the handcuffs in the mayor of the city. These handcuffs are breaking my wrist. While Henry worries about his future, officers worry about theirs. I'm going to get fired, and so are all of you, so it's been nice working with you. It's been a good three years. I might as well start looking for other departments now. <laughs> At the jail, Henry's dance between cooperating and fighting continues after learning he has to stay at the jail for six hours and 40 minutes. It's not going to happen. Sir, we have protocols with you. Oh, I don't okay, care. This I, is would not, not, I would not be in a cell. This is not our decision. It's the sheriff's. This is the, this is the county's decision. Then get hold, get hold of the sheriff. I'm going to do that. Call the sheriff. There's no... Way. I'm going to sit in the cell. He starts to realize this isn't a good look for him. You never know, sir. I'm sorry. You never know. People are, people are bound to forgive. This is only a small portion of the hours of video we received, a few of them more than an hour long on their own. This is also the first time the city has released body camera video. Henry saying at a press conference this morning, previous requests for police video did not justify their public exposure. When announcing the release of the video today, Henry said he was embarrassed by his actions and he commends the officers for holding him accountable. And while I am the mayor of this great city, I'm no better than any other citizen. And we have a full story about what happened that night on WFFT.com.